Hello everyone, this is John Crate, and we are back in the show. One second, Bub wants some pets. Oh, good Bub, good Bub. I'm sorry you couldn't go outside today. It was too cold. It was kind of, it was cold and windy, not a nice day. Hopefully I can let you out tomorrow. Okay. So, we need a new manager. Like, an actual good one. Because the last one we had was not very good. So, what, this guy. That's pretty good. Clutch, contact, brake, and arm accuracy. Blocking, speed, clutch, and velocity. Honestly, I like the first guy that we saw that was good. Hits and walks per nine on pitchers. Like I said, the ratios are always my... are always what I look for. I don't care so much about strikeouts. So we're going to give you... you want 5.5 .5 per year. I'm going to offer you 7.5. Nine years. Now, Corey Lee is going to have to go, which is unfortunate. He's been our catcher for a long time. Starting to de he's starting to decline, and he's gonna want like 20 million, 25 million for like just to get a two-year contract, right? Yeah, for only two more years, he's, he wants a max contract. I could hit, him, I'll hit him with the qualifying offer just because. I doubt he'll take it, uh, but we gotta get something for him, right? Santos is starting to decline. And he wants a lot. He's only 27, though, is the thing. Like, he shouldn't be declining like this. So I kind of want to keep him. Let's see if I can sign him. He does His value, it, the amount he wants actually goes down as I lower it. So, especially because his contact against lefties is good, and we don't have much against lefties right now. Let's give him two years to see if he can right the ship. I'll give you two years, 20 million, just to... So if he signs, that's going to dump our available budget down to 35 million. And though I doubt he's going to take the qualifying offer, just in case, that would dump us down quite a bit, too. I've got to sign you, Tabor. Like, I don't really have a choice here. You just won the Cy Young Award for some whatever reason. Why did you have such a good season? It doesn't even make sense. So I've got to sign you. You're not going to be the closer. I should almost just make you a starting pitcher is kind of the thing. You've got the stamina for it, and that's where you did most of your damage. So you want, for two years, you want 12.
retrieve that. And we've got to keep you around. You're 35. You also are good against lefties. And you're our best fielding outfielder now. I don't think we're going to have the money. We got to pick either you or Santos. I think we got to pick you because you're the. Not only are you the better. Well, it's debatable, but you are kind of the better fielder. Your bat is better. The problem is he's 20, he's, he's so much younger than you, and yet he's doing worse. Oh, this one's tough. Um... I'll hit, I'll hit you with the qualifying offer as well. And hopefully just get something for you. Oof. I don't know. Hopefully that's the right move. And we got our manager. That's good. They want to trade us Joe Adele. Who at this point is not super great. So no. So we got Tabor. Yeah, it's going to be cheaper to buy out his arbitration is the thing. I'm willing to bet it's going to be cheaper anyway, so... $3.5 a year to buy out his arbitration. We'll still offer arbitration, though. Cespedes. You're starting to go down. You don't want that much. You only want one... Or you only want two million dollars for this one year of arbitration. We'll keep you around for another year and see what you're, what you're sitting at next year, but... And I'll still offer you arbitration. You can go. Sam Witt has passed you. So you can just go. You have not gone down at all. I'm still going to offer arbitration. 
just in case. But yeah, you, Montoya is just, he's gone. You don't have to worry about him. So Cabela, I keep saying Cab it's Cab okay, yeah, Cabela, we still have our contract on. Just because I'm curious. I don't think I'll be signing anyone major, but I do want to see what's out there. Although Hernandez also had a qualifying offer thrown on him. As always, let's see what kind of first baseman we've got out here. Jeff Hines is probably the best one. And he got the qualifying offer on him just because he's young, he's the youngest as well while still being super great. Bichette's out there. Oh, he's 35, starting to finally go down a little bit. Royce Lewis is there. He's 32. He's getting, still going up, but he's still not super great. I mean, he's an 88 overall, obviously, but his batting is else. He's, he's, oh, well, that's better than I thought. Okay, looking at it from here, it, it looks better. I don't know why. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you're 37. Yeah, the qualifying offer better be on Jared Kalanick. Jesus. And there's no one all that young is kind of the thing. Sean Knowles. Got her offer out there. So now it comes down to who do we want to keep on. Now it comes down to this part. Buying out your arbitration years would be incredibly cheap right now, so I think we'll do that. Fletcher Harder. We'll keep you around. We'll put you on the one year thing. You're going to have to be depth, though. Sorry. You're not on the 40 man. You must have jumped a lot this last season. The one starting pitcher leaving, that'll put me down to 18. But then I'm going to move Tabor. Oh no, I don't need to move Tabor to be a starter. His stamina is not as great as the other ones, and plus he'd be, he's still going to be a great long man. So, Actually, he'd be better than Mackenzie Gore at this point, but nah, that's fine. I'm going to move some closing pitchers over to the relief spot anyway, so it's, it should be okay. 
Yeah, you're still fine. You're 34, but you're not really falling at all. You can stay in the system if you really want to work. This contract's renewable. Since I'm going to keep you, I could just sign you like this. Since you're only going up. So I like that idea. 2.1. Oh, 2. Cool. Darren Crook still improving. I think we can let you go. Maybe you too. Not you though. Or you. You're getting, you're improving. So I've got eight closers, so I can move, definitely move some to relief. Yeah, if I move five to relief, or move three to relief, That'll cover for the three that I'm cl that I'm that I'm uh, letting go. I don't think I'm still gonna pay you the low wages or renew your contract. Same with you, of course. Okay, we have. Seven catchers now, that's right, because Latham's gone. You don't have any options left, but you're also going to be our backup. So that's fine. We're going to keep you up in the majors anyway. Okay, you're going down, so we're going to dump you. You are, of course, we're keeping you, and of course, we're keeping you. You have a hit tool. Can you play other positions? You can be a first baseman. Keep going. How about you? You have B potential. You can play third base for some odd reason. So, yeah, I'll have to get two catchers. So, I'm letting you're, you're starting to decline, buddy. First base. You have five third basemen right now. Well, you're still improving. For some whatever reason. You aren't, so I'll probably let you go. Second base. We'll just, we're just going to renew your contract because you're... You're a utility guy. I like you, though. You got a hit tool, but you are not that great in the field, especially your arm. Putting you at sh third or short is a bad idea. How many second basemen do I have? I have five. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep them around. So keep you, and of course keep you. You're improving. Third base. I have seven third basemen. I think I can let one of one go. 
Probably you. Mota's gone. Jeff Fish. No, you're just going to get a renewable contract. You're not an everyday player. You only played because of injury. That's the, the only reason you'll play for us again. So, How many shortstops do we have? Five. Okay. So yeah, probably just keep all of them. You're going down, but I like, I like your utility. Of course, you're sticking around. So I've got five, three, and six. Although if Cabello signs, I'll be four. So I should probably go after some sort of outfielder while I'm... Tabor, you are still good. Well, not good, but you're great for the minor league system. Darren Kibblehouse. I love that name. That's a good baseball name. Kibble house. You, of course, are going to get the contract renewed. You're not going to be an everyday player, though. Jeff Tremaine, you're still... Again, I say this every year, you're still around. And of course we'll keep you. Okay. What does our 40 man look like? We have 34 men on the 40 man. And it's going to be more than that. Because we're going to remove you from the 40 man because we're not, we didn't resign you. Let's move some of these guys over to relief pitchers. And then you have more stamina than, mo than most of these guys, so I should put make you a relief pitcher. There. Okay, that's good. Oh, I need a drink real quick. Who else was on the 40 man that I'm not gonna, that I didn't re sign? It might have been it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm thinking that was it, because Mota wasn't, he's not on the 40 man. So yeah, we've got some stuff to work with here. They want to trade me you. I don't really want you. Okay, fine, take him. I don't care.
Corey Lee signed elsewhere. It looked like I saw thought it looked like he signed with the Reds. Did we get? Okay, yep, we got Cabello. That's good. Santos is still out there, but there are offers for him, so hopefully we'll get something for him. We'll get well, I mean we will if he signs elsewhere out, clearly, but Lee Thatcher's. No, sorry. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of what I expected. So he didn't take the qualifying offer, so we'll just get compensation. So now we've got to set our 40 man. So with Cabello signing, that puts us at 34, so we can, we can protect six players. He's probably the only one I'm worried about. Maybe you as well. Well, these two. Definitely you. Uh, 30, so we have four more spots. So I do need to put another pitcher, or another catcher, I mean, sorry, on the 40 man. Should probably be you, just because you have a, you're the best fielder. Now we're at 37. None of these guys need to be on the 40 man. I'm not too worried about you. You're 29. I don't know that anyone would keep you around for too long. I'm going to need your replacement soon. So that's probably what we'll start to look for in the draft is another outfielder to take his spot. So that'll leave us with three open spots. So if we do sign a free agent, we only have nine points. <laughs> we only have nine million available, but it'll leave a spot for just in case like somebody falls through the cracks and we can offer them like a one-year contract or some ridiculous thing. Um, and that leaves us open for the rule five as well, just in case. And I'm not too concerned about anyone else, so it's fine. Okay, only, I've already offered them arbitration, so okay, I'm not worried about it. Trey Cabbage. <laughs> Kill Badu. They want to trade me Tom Kim, who I do not need. Rodney Kellogg. That's a good. That's that's also a good, um, a good baseball name, especially with the two G's. The 
A's are offering me. This starting pitcher, sorry. Okay, now it's really time for uh, free agency talks. Oh, he might go to the Twins. So I do. I want another starter. Oops. So I want another starter. I need two catchers, and that's the that's the main thing that I need. So. Who's a good farmhand pitcher? Perhaps you. Is there anyone younger and worse, but with potential? No, you don't have any potential. You do. Yeah. You're, you're good. He wants a. He wants. It looks like he wants a real contract. Here, you. You're young. You can't want. Yeah. Okay. There. There's one. Maybe you. Here we go. This guy's 19. He's got a contact. He's pretty good in the. He's not bad in the field for how low he down he is. Yeah, well, you're 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 perfect. You are perfect. You have an interesting hit tool, buddy. Whatever, he's not, he's, we're not signing him. We don't have the budget to sign him. We don't really have the budget to sign anyone unless, like I said, it's a ridiculous contract. No one's given you offers. I'll have to be on the lookout over there. Rock Detheridge. It's a good black metal name. <laughs> okay, we'll see who's still available. He hasn't accepted a contract, so he's probably going to arbitration at this point. Ooh. Why do you want to trade him? Oh my god. What do you want? What do you what do you want? An inferior pitcher. And bullpen guy. Man. That is tough. Gore is going to be gone after next season. Man, getting that, getting an A-level pitcher like that is rare. I almost have to do this. I think we can do I think we can swing this. Whew. <laughs> wow. One thing I should have checked is if he's on the 40 man. 
I think he is, though. Yeah, I was going to say, because I saw he used one of his options, so he almost had to be. Man. So they need, they got some help, and we got, we got a replacement for Mackenzie Gore. And he's pro yeah, he's probably going to be in the, in the, no, it's got to be Wit, because Wit has, doesn't have any options left. So yeah, you're going to be in the minors to start. Sorry. Man, that's a deal. Here it comes the rule five. They want me to pick this guy. Not happening. First baseman with A potential. Oh ho. tempted by any of these guys. He's kind of tempting. But no, we're going to skip. And again, didn't see any of my players go, but let's just double check. No. Two Red Sox players went, and I thought I saw a couple for the Dodgers as well. There, Santos finally signed somewhere. Offering me this Tyler Stevens, who was don't I do not need. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Perhaps I should sign a uh, a reliever or a closer though. I've got the roster space and the money for a cheap one, so let's take a look at the closer the market here. They tend to have more potential. No young guns. No. So far. Show me somebody like in their. Show me somebody in their early twenties. Even if it's just see potential, that works for me. Just somebody I can keep under team control forever. Okay, how about, how about over here? You got no potential. I want at least. Come on, give me see potential. That's all I want. Deal. Well, we we should be fine. We'll cross that bridge if we need it. If we need to sign somebody, we'll sign somebody. But get through the rest of the off season. There's our arbitration date. Okay, so he he got more than I was hoping, but whatever. He's gonna be our starter. He's he's worth it. Not a big deal. Kill Andover. Yeah, there's nobody really worth offering a cheap contract to right now. So there we are. We are still ranked as the best team in baseball. Oops. 
Don't need to deal with the roster yet. Okay. Now let's deal with the roster. So our rotation two. Unfortunately, you didn't. You're not going to make it. I guarantee you're in the rotation next season, though. You have to be. Oh, you're out of options. Oh shit. Um. That complicates things. I may have to try and get rid of Mackenzie Gore. So that uh, we can keep him. No, we can keep uh, Casto. I have to think about this. So if we have five, it's going to be five starters, six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, thirteen. Sorry. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13 pitchers. You're going down. So you, have you and then. Yeah, you're out of options anyway, so we'll move. So we need to send down two more players. Most likely you. So you're still our first baseman, unfortunately. So that means you're going to get sent down. So we have to send one more down. Oh. No, we don't, because we've got to do something about the starting pitching. Is anyone willing to trade prospects for Mackenzie Gore? Does anyone have the frickin' money to do that? <laughs> the Yankees do. The 
A's are probably giving me the best deal there. Yeah, so far it's the A's. Oh, but they're gonna get they could give me a first baseman. I do want a first baseman. Yeah. Right now it's the Cubs. I've got enough good starting pitching to take over. I don't need another eight. I don't need another one, surprisingly enough. I'm really going to trade for a frickin' first baseman? I am. And a second baseman with potential. That also brought gave us a lot of money, actually. So yeah, that, uh... So you. We're gonna have to see how you turn out. Okay, anyway, so we've got our 26-man roster. So now it's all about the lineups. Who's on the bench that shouldn't be on the bench? You. You are supposed to be our shortstop. Why would you put Jeff Fish there? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Scott Lopez is, of course, leading off. Cassis, too. Martinez has become a pretty competent bat against righties. Are you in center? I want our best fielder in center. Yeah, you're in left. There, that looks pretty good. Yes, we're fixing that. So, you know, you might play left field against lefties. But anyway, let's do this first. Scott Lopez. Latham, so far you're batting second against lefties. That's you immediately jump in and make that kind of impact. Yeah, that's that's how that's going down. Yeah, you're in left field for against against uh lefties we're going to put you out there. So who's going to be third? Probably you.
four, five, six, seven. No, seven. Our first baseman's batting ninth against lefties. If we put, man, if we, yeah, Tabor has got to be in the rotation at this point, doesn't he? He just has to. So that means that Castro is going to be coming out of the bullpen. That's a long man. That's how we'll do it. And we are still ranked first. Okay. I guess we're, oh, I guess we're gonna see what this new team can do. Tabor out for a few days. Keep him active. He should be ready for his next start. There's some wins. There's some losses. <laughs> We're not even a 500 team. What is happening? Keep them active, of course. Actually, here, I'm curious. Okay, I only have one lefty there. Okay. I wasn't sure. Man, why? We're doing badly now. No, I don't want to stop. Okay, here's some wins. Let's kind of let's start heating up here. And it's the draft. We didn't even win the World Series, and now we're last. Well, I don't need a starting pitcher at the moment. I just got my first baseman of the future. Uh, an outfielder. He scouted you a bunch. Yeah, there's just nobody that's really catching my eye here. I mean, maybe you, but at the same time, like... 
he would have a ca good catcher would have been taken already, you know. Probably just gonna have to pick someone that I haven't scouted really. I guess sure, why not a shortstop? We get two picks here. This guy can play multiple positions. Just because they're the best prospects available, I may have to take a pitcher here. You're still here, probably for a good reason. Let's grab you. You're probably just there because you... You have the potential, but it's going to take you forever to reach that potential, so you got time. We really scouted you. Why? I should probably just grab pitchers because then I can always trade them for, uh, I can always trade them, I guess, for the prospects that I do need. Well, you're 25, and it'll take you a while to reach that potential, so maybe not. other 80s though. I guess you. Let's hoard all the starting pitching. Let's do it. So it's got to be this guy. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> this guy is still here. Nobody wants him. You know what? Fine. I, I'll t I'll probably take him. Now we'll take this third baseman, who it looks like probably has potential, but again, he's going to take forever. Catcher's still there. Fine. Oh, I couldn't take anyone. My roster is full. I see. So 
So what do we got? You aren't so great. You have potential that you'll probably never reach, but I'm going to keep you. You... Holy shit. Yeah, a bunch of these guys just nobody wanted to wait around for them. I'll wait around for them, though. You actually could be a good farmhand, so... I'll sign you so I can release some of the other guys. Wow, we actually did, had a pretty good draft. I'm not gonna. I'm not signing our first overall, pick, our first round pick though. <laughs> Again, it's all players that are gonna take forever to develop, but that's that's fine. That's that's about it. Picking as low in the draft as we were, that's as good as it's going to get. So, and those pitch once some of those pitchers start to develop a little bit, we can trade them. Man, we are ten games back. We've really got to pick up the pace here, boys. like we're trying. God, we're still... We're a little above 500 now, but... We gotta keep him active. Okay, now we're three games back, so we're doing a little better. The Blue Jays want to trade me a relief pitcher. No! <laughs> Especially because they want three players in return. Why would I... I don't even care who those players are. Why would I do that? Skip. And the AL wins again. Nice. Okay, we're six games back. <sighs> Still not good. So who made the All-Star game for us? If anybody. Well, we have to have at least one. That's the rules. George Gill made it. Scott Lopez did as well. Having a great season, as usual. Because he's Scott Lopez, and he that's just what he does. So those are our two. How about the top prospects list? I'm curious. We have the top prospect in baseball. However, after that, you gotta go down a little bit. Jason Shackelford. Our first baseman is already on the. He's on the list. He's number 18. 27. Ah, oh, cool. And 34. And 36. Okay, so we got some top prospects. Anyway, stats. Let's see why we're not doing so great. Well, Jimenez isn't having a good season. But everyone, all my other starters are doing really well. Gotta be the bullpen then, right? 
Yeah, you're... Oh, wow. Right, these two are awesome. And you are terrible once again. Luckily, you haven't pitched all that much. You're not doing super great either. Lane Latham. Not doing as well with the bat as I would have hoped. But he's going... He's getting better. Well, he's lost some power, unfortunately. But yeah, he's just not... His OPS is only 700. Scott Lopez is, of course, the man. Camacho, not so much. He's starting to go down. Lopez is... easily our best hitter. 909 OPS, that's pretty good. Cassis is... well... Yeah, you're not doing so great either. So it looks like it's mainly our offense. Martinez, who is great against righties, is doing okay, but he's not. He's hitting home runs, but he's not getting on base. You're hitting the cover off the ball. Yeah, 906. You not so much. You're doing you're hitting, but you're not getting on base. Yeah, you're like our best hitter on in the outfield by default. Okay. So I think it's mainly our offense that's not helping us out. Our pitching seems pretty solid. Great. Like, one of the guys who was actually hitting the ball pretty well. Well, since we need a replacement at shortstop, it can't be you. We already have Jeff Fish. So really, it doesn't matter. Just somebody... So yeah, we can bring you up. is going to have to play. Ugh. I get the feeling that this is this year is pretty much done. Keep him there until he's ready. Place him on the bench. Yeah, we're nine games back. What is happening here? You're back in the lineup. You're back in the lineup. God, why are we so bad? We need to get two guys on the team. Oh, we're not games back. This is a terrible season. Our 
Sure, let's bring you up. And then somebody on offense. You're on the IL, so I can't bring you back up. I mean, I guess you, just because you're actually on the 40 man? Sure, why not? Well, we're making a late season push, it looks like. Look like it's going to be enough. Trip, or the tides are done, but the base socks continue on. And there go the base socks. Uh, awful. Just awful. League leaders. Ethan Hankins led the league in. He had somebody who led the league in strikeouts. That's impressive. Alonzo Castro in innings pitched. Lopez, batting average, hits, and runs. Awards. It says Cassis, Martinez, and Cabello got gold gloves. Hey, we got Rookie of the Year. And a Silver Slugger. Let's take a look. So the MVP of the league was Vidal Brujan. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand why. Okay, Cy Young. He was Rookie of the Year because he was also in the Cy Young running, it looks like. I mean, he was a distant third. Scott Lopez with the batting title. He had 33 home runs this year. Nice going. Okay, Reliever of the Year. Nope. Castro won Rookie of the Year. Julian Mota. He was the third baseman that we let go. He never made the 40-man roster. Apparently Seattle played him a good amount. He had 24 home runs. Couldn't get on base, though. Hank Aaron, Scott Lopez was down there. Humberto Jimenez. Won that. Okay, gold gloves. So Latham was close. Just missed it. Camacho was was close. There's Cassis. There's Martinez. Keith was close, but again, he's a. It barely counts. He's a. He's a first baseman. That's why his numbers are so ridiculous. And Cabello. Silver Slugger. So, so Lopez for the second year in a row. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's take a look at our statistics. Not sure what happened to some of our pitchers on this list. So I'm clearly not seeing a complete picture. But our pitching looks like it was pretty great, so I don't know. Okay, he sort he improved his uh his batting average is on base, so that's a win. Hopefully he'll be better next year. You ended up with 20 homers. I, you you, sh uh, you should have done better. You're only against righties, for Christ's sake. Martinez just he hit, he hit homers, but that's it. 
Keith ended up with 30 home runs. So he had a pretty good year. His contact is going up. I mean, yeah, 890, that's not bad. Way to go, my man. We have to keep you around. What does your contract look like? We, you know, we still have you for a couple of years. Okay. Give it to give us enough time for our other for our future first baseman to develop. Cabello also could hit home runs, but that's about it. He's just starting to starting to fall apart. We don't. This is his last year of his contract too, so we'll have to make a decision on him. I might still re-sign him. Cause it's not like we have too many other guys in the waiting in the wings at the moment. So let's sim the postseason. God, that was a disappointing year. Padres have defeated the Red Sox. Yes, I'm sure. We looked at all the stuff. Who retired? We're running out of real players here, guys. Jerickson Profar finally retired at age 41. Well, you you deserve to retire here, buddy. You haven't been on a team in a while, though. <laughs> Mookie Betts is done. What is it? What do his stats look like? Is he gonna make the Hall of Fame? He might. He's pretty well balanced. He had a high batting average, so eh, we'll see. Ryan Jeffers is done. He ended up on the Braves. Greg Bird, frickin' finally. Trevor Story? Huh? No, unfortunately, he won't make the Hall of Fame. David Boat? Jean. Jorge Alfaro. Jordan Alvarez. Okay, this guy might. No, he will not. No, he will not. If he keeps hitting the way he's hitting in real life, he will, but wow, he's just kind of... Nobody signed him after a while. Brian Anderson. Tim Anderson. Arias, what is his career batting average? 278, aw. Rios is gone. Kevin Biggio is gone. Xander Bogarts is gone. Bogarts is... I don't know, shortstop, he, almost hit, he hit almost 400 home runs. He might, but I doubt it. Willie Castro... Thoro Estrada. I like Thoro Estrada in real life. I think he's, once he gets away from the Yankees, I think he's going to get some playing time. I think he's going to be a pretty decent player. Jack Flaherty. Clint Frazier. Giolito. Hey, there's Dan Gratterville. He was on our team for a while there. Quite a while, actually. Not a real player, but hey. That's what we're down to now. There's Mitch Keller. Brady Lope. Oh, no, not that's not the guy I'm thinking of. Bill Maton. AJ Minter. Jesus, he lasted forever, too. Mikey Moniak. Brent Rooker. Rio, Rio Ruiz lasted a long time, too. Justice Sheffield's done. Brady Singer is done. Urkady's done. Garrett Whitlock is done. Nope, nobody made it. So we 
have our staff, that's not a problem. Exclusive free agents. We've got some money available, so. We are, of course, resigning Scott Lopez. I don't care what it takes. We are mm -hmm. resigning him. Hankins, we've got to resign. He's going to want a max contract, of course. Mm -hmm. Martinez. We almost mm -hmm. have to try and get him back. You, we almost have to try and get. We have to try and get you back. You don't seem like you're going to want too much, though. So, and George Gill. You dropped a ton, buddy. I think we've got to let you go. But that is all something we will deal with next time. So, this has been the lost season, the lost 2033 season of the Baltimore Orioles. So next time on the show, the 2023, or the 2033 offseason and the 2034 season. So, as usual, this is John Crate signing out.